Hey there, so today we have another review. This is uh, Founders KBS Espresso version. So this is their first uh, kind of variant on their classic uh, bourbon barrel aged imperial stout already brewed with coffee and chocolate. But they said there's quote unquote an extra oomph of coffee as they add espresso beans after the beer has been removed from barrels, which is interesting because I think that I would expect that the beer already is treated that way. They brew KBS, the base beer, Asian bourbon barrels, then add coffee and chocolate after they pulled it off of barrels. So then maybe they, now they're just adding more coffee when they're pulled it off of barrels. I don't know. Anyway, rocks in at 12. It's quite fresh. This is about a month and a, a month and a week fresh. So beer is quite dark, very black uh, coming out of the bottle. Wonderful uh, dark brown head on that. Yeah. So first off, there is that kind of sweet espresso-y. Uh, is it sweet? Yeah, it's like sweet cold brew. Um, a lot of espresso on the nose. Reminds me a little bit of that kind of, uh, oh yeah, the Cubano. Um, Maduro that I had, right? The, the Cigar City one, the Maduro with lactose and uh, uh, Cuban espresso added. But but underneath is that big signature KBS note. It's that chocolatey vanilla note. It's the bourbon barrel character wrapped around with some coffee with that cacao nib. Yeah, so it's like, it's almost like, yeah, it's almost like Bourbon County coffee, but it's KBS with more coffee. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> So uh, this is a lot more coffee forward. Wow. Uh, generally, the beer comes off to me a little bit more tame, a little bit more chocolatey, a little bit more barrel character. This one's got a ton of just bitter espresso added to it. It's got that um, signature kind of like soft KBS. No, actually, no. KBS to me comes off a little bit more edgier because it has that rich um, kind of sweet coffee flavor. Now you bump it up with another layer of bitter espresso to it. Mmm. That's good, yeah. For 12, I will say it comes off a little bit thin. I'm talking about beer compared to Bourbon County, where it's like such, you know, um, a mouth cone experience. I think here, the espresso really like dries out the beer. The bitterness sort of like cleans up the beer quite nicely. But a really nice barrel character. You get all the big, wonderful notes of vanilla, uh, the sharp bourbon notes, but then it's complemented with a nice uh, chocolatey base beer along with the ca uh, cocoa added, and then along with their layers of um, coffee, the base beer coffee, and then also the extra espresso. It's definitely for your coffee lovers. Like if you like KBS and you like it for the coffee reasons, you have to get your hands on this because it takes it to the next level. Yeah, I mean, if you, <laughs> talking about Broome County Coffee, I mean, they're not very similar beers, but it just reminds you, like, I love Bourbon County coffee. Like, I already love the base beer, and the coffee is just, like, one of my favorite beers of all time. This just takes KBS, a, a very enjoyable beer. You know, I, I, I've been um, disjointed on my opinions. You know, sometimes I'm saying it's overrated. Sometimes I like it, da 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 um, So I think it's just really, really, really good. I think, honestly, this might be better than just base KBS. Um, yeah, there you go. There you go. I have more coffee, right? Uh, this, for me, gets a solid... Mm. Solid 97, 97, that is KBS Espresso. Highly recommended, I had a hard time finding it. I think last year they released it as well. Didn't find it, found it this year. Absolutely fantastic, highly recommend it. Until next time guys, cheers, later.